Hey everyone, I'm, my name is Laura, I'm 21, I'm currently preparing vegetables, my guinea pig, um, just some cut cabbage, peeled and chopped carrot, and some spinach, didn't know about a bowl, um, so I, Animal care. Um, so, if anyone has any questions, I will try and help in whatever way I can. Call for advice, but I'm not a qualified vet, veterinarian, or anything like that. I can give you my honest opinion. Um, but having a guinea pig. Is, a guinea pig is the only animal I have. Uh, I also have a staff terrier. You can probably hear whinging right now. What? Do you want some food? Do you want something to eat? Probably won't eat what I'm preparing. Huh? Um, he has an arthritic hip. Um, that's the best. So if anyone has a dog or cat or any animal that's arthritic, the best thing I can, and they don't know what to do, the best thing I can advise is cod liver oil because um, it has you know, the essential oil that they need. And it also has vitamins such as omega 3 um, which will help with the pain. Um, it won't cure it, but it will help with the pain. Um, so, yeah, um, but all of, and plus all the vegetables I'm preparing. Might be pig gloves. So she'll eat carrot, she'll eat spinach, she'll that's a fucking massive leaf. And um, she'll eat cabbage, you know, she'll eat most vegetables, she'll eat sprouts, she'll eat, she'll eat you know, most vegetables. Um but one of the only vegetables you shouldn't really give them um are cucumber and tomato purely because they're too watery and they they can't really um like um so they can't like um ingest like they can't have like they can't take like their body can't take that much water so things like spinach lettuce carrot sprouts you know your veg the vegetable like those kind of vegetables are watery they find it and they'll generally love um, um the rice like isn't very good so you have to be careful with like loud noises um like that <laughs> um but bearing in mind my dog is worse he is scared of my like, guinea pig scared of sheep He's scared of rabbits. Um, he is also that otherwise. Jack. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I have an eight-year-old staff that is scared of my things. Um. And my current kind of guinea pig is coming out in the garden. Because at the moment we have some really nice weather here in England, so um, and the uh, guinea pigs can get quite bored just sitting in the hutch all day. So going out in the garden is quite a good exercise for them. Um, 
I'm looking at from the back. Oh, oh my god. What? Come on. Come on. They can get, they can get grass and things like that. Um, and one of the things I feed my guinea pig, um, it's a very good food for your guinea pigs, is XL. Um, you know, you can get it in your local pet stores. Um, and it's just really good for them. And you should always make sure you have things like hay, ready grass food, fresh water, um, and they do need to be cleaned out on a sort of weekly basis because otherwise, you know, they can get some um, things like fly strike, which is a killer in pretty much any animal. Um, it can kill your rabbit, your guinea pig, you know, any caged animal like guinea pigs, rabbits and stuff. So most like caged animals can catch fly strike if they're not cleaned out on a regular basis. Um, so it's always a good idea to clean them out on a regular basis. Not too regular, like every day, but on a weekly basis, it's better than nothing. Um, and you know, you can always if you don't want to buy a guinea pig, say it. At a pet shop, a garden centre, you can go to somewhere like a rescue centre and always rescue a guinea pig because you know these animals they got there are literally so many animals in rescue centres, um, and they're always looking for a new home. I can't recommend, I literally i can't recommend rescue centers enough like you know for your cats your dogs you can make your rabbits you know general um rodent um so we'll just go give this to my pig um so yeah rescue centers are amazing um things like the rspca cat protection PSA. you'll see in a second yeah. it's literally just gone shy um straight for the veg yeah. so yeah we just got it all on because provide some of the vitamins they need um, actually you saw it's really nice um, like I said if you need any advice on guinea pigs rabbits or anything I did split three years of animal care at a local well, local-ish college to me and it's a local agricultural college as well so please feel free to contact let me comment and I'll try my best to advise you like I said, I'm not trained vet or vet nurse, um, but do comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them and give my best advice. Right, bye.